Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, we will see how you can write, control or update single holding register data of your Modbus serial RTU or RS485 device from the Node-RED dashboard. Okay, so if you don't have Modbus serial device, okay, then you can use this open mode sim software to simulate your Modbus serial device. Right now you can see I am using open mode sim software and simulating my Modbus serial device on the COM1 port with 9600 baud rate, data bits 8, parity none and the stop bit 1. Okay, now I want to use my node rate to connect with this device, okay, and to update the holding register data. Okay, so let's see how you can do that. So first let me clear the value of my first and second holding register. Okay, now first we will take the slider node okay and then after we will take the modbus write node to write the data on the holding register we will connect this to node okay and in the slider node we will rename it as hr0 control okay as we are going to control the hr0 holding register 0 okay so i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste it here okay and the maximum value we want to set for holding register 0 is 200 and we want to update the value when we release the slider so we will select this option and uh, we are going to put this slider into the default group okay that's it we can press on done now for the mode bus write node i'm going to rename it as hr0 control okay the unit id we can see from here okay unit id is one now the function code so we are going to control first holding register or you can say only one holding register at a time so i can select preset single register because we are going to control only one register at a time okay and here we have to provide the address that which register we are going to control so we are going to control very first holding register with the address zero okay now we have to connect this node red with our Morbus serial device so for that we have to set up the client in the node red or you can say the master in the node red so all you have to do is click on this pencil icon okay now we are going to connect with mode best serial device so instead of tcp option we are going to select serial expert and this is our node red mode best master or you can say client and the serial port we are going to use is the com2 you can see once you click on this search option you will see available com port in your system so i'm going to use the com2 uh, you might be have a question that why we are going to use the com2 instead of com1 so i have used virtual serial port driver software to connect my com1 with the com2 so whatever data is available on the com1 the same data is available on the com2 okay so that's why i'm going to select com2 because we can't use single port single com port multiple times okay so that's why now the serial type is rtu buffer border is 9600 as you can see here data bits 8 stop bit 1 and the parity none okay that's it all you have to configure now you can click on this add button okay and you can press on done so all done we can deploy our flow by using ctrl d and we can navigate to our dashboard you can see hr0 control now i can control the value of hr0 from here you can see 60 60 if i change it to 150 then you can see 150 okay so this is how you can use node red to control the holding register data of your mode by serial rtu or rs485 device okay now the same way if you want to control any other holding register then all you can do is just copy this paste it just change the holding register number so suppose you are going to control holding register 2 0 1 and 2 so it's a basically third holding register okay so i'm going to set it to 2 here that's it and the maximum value we want to set for that holding register is 100 okay and here also hr2 control okay and hr2 is equal to 0 1 2 okay that's it so we are going to control holding register 2 is equal to the third holding register because the index will start from the 0 so 0 1 2 okay that's it we can press ctrl d and we can deploy so when we change this hr2 control you will see the update on the holding register third okay you can see 23 if i change it again then you can see 59 okay if i have used one here okay if i have used one here then you will see the update on the second holding register so one okay uh, one done 
let me change it to one as well and here also let me change it to one that's it Control d deploy okay now you can see 54 85 19 okay so this is how you can control the holding resistor of your modbus serial r2 or rs485 device from the node rate dashboard now instead of holding resistor control in the next video we will see how you can control or update single coil status of your modbus serial device from the node rate dashboard okay so let's meet in the next video and if you have any question or concern regarding this video then you can always ping me your question concern in the comment section or telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere so let's meet in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you